Greetings, carbon-based units. I am back from Sedona, Arizona, where all the UFOs hang out. I was, uh, you know, in all the energy vortexes, the salt crystals, had my aura taken, went to the psychic place. Uh, okay, bullshit. I went to the sports bar and drank beer. Okay, but... I took my send cut with me, <laughs> got a little bit of button stick. I dragged this some bitch around with me. And this is the funny thing about send cut, CV, Wii knives, and really any button lock knife, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you can get some button stick on them. Now, check this out. Hold on, see if you can hear it. A little bit, you know? I mean, it, it kind of comes and goes a little bit. So, okay, that's that's the the thing about button locks to a degree. Okay, this is send cut. Of course, so this is not the high end like Wii knives. Oh, and then we fall down from Wii knives to go to uh, to Civivi. Oh, and then we fall down from Civivi and we go to send cut. So here we go. We've tumbled down the hill into the send cut valley. But if you were watching me on Instagram, do you remember seeing me post this knife in Sedona? That is not Courthouse Rock. That's Castle Rock. I think down that way is Chicken Head. Okay, so this is visible from VOC side, from Village of Oak Creek side of Sedona, you know. And then, so, I was up on, that was the deck. That was the house I was staying at. Nice, nice views. Hard not to have nice views there. Okay. Now, the Crowley, 48 bucks. And, of course, it's out of stock. White Mountain Knives. Why don't you get in on time? Why don't you? Don't complain they're out of stock. Okay. And what oh, you do, you put your email address right here. Notify me when they're back in stock. Email address, boom, hit notify. When it pops up, you know, you'll get an email. Go back in stock, limited numbers, act now. That means limited numbers, act now. And use LTK as your discount code. So then you're going to pay 44 smackers or whatever, $4.80 less, right? And no shipping, no tax. Okay. So, and it's basically eight inches, three and a half inch blade, D2 button lock and all that kind of craziness now it's not like we knives doesn't make a button lock oh and here we go uh now nah, this is just me uh being a shameless pimp ltk brand okay ltk result oem'd by we knives shall we say and uh, guaranteed never to have any button stick. Of course, who knows? You know, so, so far, this has been really good. This is a proto, but coming to you, hopefully, mid to late February 2023. So, okay, just hold on to that thought. Okay, get out of here. Back to my Crowley and all my... All my good stories about the crowd. Oh, by the way, I walk out of PJs, right? I got this in my pocket. This is guaranteed to give you a UFO encounter or else, right? So the bartender comes up to me and says, there's something in the night sky out there. And it's, you know, you're in Sedona, right? Okay, so something, you know something going to happen, right? Sure, I, I go, uh, right. So I go outside and these guys are all looking up in the air and I'm going, what the hell? That was in the air. Okay, so there's the, you know, looking up the hills and stuff. What it that was? I if it was close to Christmas, I'd say you know, you know, it's Jesus being born again or whatever. But and there's the star of Bethlehem or whatever. No, 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 no. SpaceX, Vandenberg, a uh, space force base. But, uh, you know, and so they had to blow a bunch of like 50 little teeny satellites up and blah, blah, blah. Falcon 9, I believe. Okay, so see, go to Sedona, man. I, I live near the Sedona. I lived in Cottonwood for like three years. So I used to go up to Sedona all the time. Sundowner, Dirt Bar, 
was old Sedona, but now it's called Stagecoach Company, and I know all the bars in the area. Uh, Send cut. You can. You want to get back to this knife? Do you actually want to know something about the Send cut Crowley? Because Crowley's a cool knife, and you get this. I mean, we're talking forty-eight dollars minus almost five dollars. So, alrighty. And you can get them in different, you know, you can get black micarta, you can get green micarta, you can get this, this natural G10. And uh, what else does it say? It's designed by this new designer called Sencut. Quite the, quite the popular new designer. Okay, I'm just, hey, I was gone for a week. Cut me some slack, okay? And, yeah, I didn't get the green micarta because it had black blades. So I go, yeah, nah, and I don't want black micarta. And you know what? I like this natural G10. There was somebody, like, commenting, going, oh, LTK, going to throw this in the die. And you know what? That's an excellent idea. Excellent, my man. Um, these, I believe, are number eights. And if I can ever figure out where I put all my tools and stuff now that I'm back in town. Um... Number eight. Yep, number eight. Yes, they are. And button lock, number eight, three and a half inch, eight inch overall, skeletonized liners. You get a zipper pouch. You get uh, microfiber cloth in my favorite color, okay, with their logo on it and an outer box and all that kind of stuff saying, warning, if you're in California, you get the hell out. And, uh, see, even SpaceX couldn't keep their rocket in California. It escaped. It left the state. I can't stand this place. Um, so, this is, this is, and you can reverse this deep carry clip right here. And you got a little lanyard thing here. Okay. Those standoffs are good. Let me kick it. Here you go. And so... Big old stand. Now they turned into hinderer standoffs, didn't they? It's like, hit that 1X, 2X thing again. There you go. Um, so, yeah, they got bigger. You want them to get bigger? These are going to really make them huge. Never mind. But uh, this new camera, I'm just like trying to figure it out. Um, yeah. Skeletonized liners. It's easy. Flat grind. Nice. Easy in the hand. Does it have an edge anymore? I have no idea. It's dragging it all over the hell, doing this and that with it. Did you see it on that plate of, I, I should have put that picture out. It's in my Instagram now. I had this sitting there on, oh, it was Colt's. Colt's grill, barbecue and grill or something like that. Um, oh, yeah, God, that breakfast. Chicken fried chicken, hash browns, Two eggs, over easy. It was ridiculous. And the gravy, the cream gravy or the white gravy they put on that chicken fried chicken had smoked brisket chunks in it. Oh, God. And they're actually, we went back for their barbecue three days later. Oh, man, barbecue was good. Beans are really good. Crazy. Uh, okay, yes, it's still sharp. Amazing is that. I guess the UFO encounter did not dull the blade. So this kind of D2 is obviously out of this world. And uh, let me see. Let's confirm all this, shall we? Or maybe we shouldn't. It's like the hell with it. If I tell you, you'll believe me. Like, oh, three and three quarter way down here, isn't it? Three and a half at least at 90 millimeters and then eight inches overall. So they kind of say like 3.46. Is that 3.46? There ain't no 3.46. And that certainly hell isn't 3.46. So don't 3.46 me, mister, at 20 and a half centimeters. And then where's my caliper? And you're sitting over there looking at me. Half inch. At 13.1 millimeter, so okay, that's it's reasonable. It's not too fat in the hand, that's for sure. Yeah, three millimeter blade. Okay, point one. Okay, see now we just got one other question. If I can find my gear on this table, hey, 
I didn't get in till after midnight, okay? So I'm up the next day at least conscious. 3.6 ounces. Uh, 102 grams. 3.6 ounces, okay? What are you bitching about? Hell, and if you get one, Savivi will send you a, on a free trip to Sedona. You can be in the house I was in with beautiful views. And a six-pack of Natty Light. No wonder I saw UFOs. That stuff is horrible. Um, you got to cut your costs where you can. Finger flick. Finger flickable, button flickable, and oh, guess what? There's this thing as well. This is called a flipper tab, and it actually has jimping on it. Now, it's operated thusly. You put your finger here, and you pull back like it's a light switch, and it kicks out. Smart ass, isn't he? And so there you go. Finger flick on your ambidextrous thumb studs. But do they act as a stop? No, they don't. But look at that. Little pill form grenade frag kind of milling on them. Kind of strange look there. But And we will take it apart just so we can uh, see if there's any kryptonite or weird shit left over from the, the vortexes and my trip. Thank you, TSA, for not taking this away from me. That was always a concern, but I did. I declared it. It's. I checked, of course, checked the bag in the belly of the plane. I, I may be stupid, but I'm not dumb. Um, but, whoosh. yeah, I'm the only guy with a checked bag, obviously, but for a reason, because I'm the only guy hauling stuff like this around. But... Ergos are great. It's fairly slender in the hand. I like the blade shape. I mean, I like the price. And this is just, you know, carry user. And obviously, still got Arizona dust around there. Really cleaned it up well, didn't you, LTK? No, not, not all that good, actually. But design flow is nice. Blade to handle length. It's centered. It's not wobbling around or having any problems like that. You know, there's a lot to like about it. But you know, if you're if you're if you are a little freaky about oh, I felt a little tick there. Ooh, I think I got a little bit of button stick. Don't buy a button lock. I mean, just don't buy any button lock, please. Um, and you know, I still got my sock sheet from when I bought it in Atlanta. So in this one, I did take apart because I I dyed it, and that was that. What was that? Tropical teal. But it turned out this color. Started out as natural G10 and went to this color. So it's not a teal like, you know, kind of a bluish teal like they show you on the bottle of Rit dye. But it turned like this because of the green undercoat of this, you know. But still, nice. And that's the Sakshi, right? And then the Brazoria also is another one I bought. I do believe I bought it. No, nah, I bought it later when I got back. And this is not a button lock, but is that a good looking knife? And of course, that went into the dye pot as well. But uh, I can't, sapphire blue, I think, rit dye, liquid. But, uh, ooh. That really drops nice. I mean, say what you want about Sencat. And if you chase the $450 knives, oh, Riot made this OEM for this designer here in the U.S. And, you know, you got to, yeah, it's a pre-order only or they're going to be released and everybody's like crashing the site so they can spend 400 450 bucks. Okay. Then maybe you don't want this. Okay. That's fine. Me? I'm playing, I'm playing on this playground because I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. So, you know, I, I, I do. I tell, tell those people out there that, that are supporting kids and a wife and ain't got $500 to blow three times a week. Here, here's something to try out. I mean, you can be an enthusiast and not spend a lot of money and still get a good product and have a hell of a lot of fun as far as I'm concerned. And then finger flick, you know? And I did one on this Brazoria, but okay, there it is. But you know, 
the Crowley. Oh, where's my San Angelo? Come here. This is one I haven't done a video on yet, but this will be up next. Another one, but it's not a button lock. It's a liner lock. It's a uh, 9CR18. And this one, I just thought was really fascinating design. So I got this one too. At the same time, I got the Crowley. So these have both been sitting around for weeks. And I hadn't got them up yet. But uh, I didn't bring the San Angelo with me. I brought the Crowley. So, I, I mean, you have to choose. You have to pick your poison. But this I like. And I like button locks. But maybe they're not the panacea. You know what I mean? Because they do. You know, you can have a little bit of... So, I mean, this, this may not be for you. But I get frame lock burnout... And so I, I'm pretty cool with button lock, axis lock type stuff. And oh, here's my free tiger axis lock. See? So, and by the way, if you want to know, it's the FT31. But I mean, this was like $20. D2. You know, I mean, axis lock, thumb disc, but way cool. I mean, you know, just, you, you're, you know, you're not buying a piece of junk. I, or at least I don't think you are, just because you're not spending four or five hundred bucks, okay? So just just believe me on that. If you want, if you agree, that's fine. Make your comment. If you don't, I don't care. Buy what you want. Okay. What are we going to do with you, buddy? And I don't... I'm trying to think maybe the best way to approach this would be from the front. But I don't know what turns where and why. You know what? Mm. Okay. I busted this loose. The whole pivot was turning though. But I just pushed and held on that. But the good thing is you can take number, another number 8. Kick it in there and you can break it loose. Obviously it wasn't too difficult. Okay. I was just thinking maybe coming from the front. Because of the button lock set up. But... Uh, Okay, now, this is interesting, right? Check this out. Okay, so, we got these two uh, screws there. One of them, obviously, is going through this standoff. So, instead of some of the ones that you've seen me review, they have two screws, and then they have a screw under this lip here that goes into the standoff. But see, what they did is they backed this clip up, made it even deeper carry so they could double this screw here on top as a, also a standoff screw. So you're, you're drilling one less hole, you know, and that kind of thing. So, okay, there's good. There's good. Now let's take this dog off. So you see... One's longer than the other because it's going to the standoff. Okay. And then body screw here. Here's your, uh, here's that. And we're from, oh yeah, we're from the lock side or whatever, the spring side, whatever that is. So that's what we're doing there. And of course, skeletonized liner like crazy. Skeletonized, skeletonized. But it's nice. I mean, it's really nicely finished. <laughs> And then ceramic bearings, so, I mean, you know, say what you may, but, uh, and then, let me see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to try and get this, oh, push that up forward so I can swing this away. Okay, push it, push it in so you can swing this out. Because otherwise it'll catch on there, you know, because that's the way it works. The spring pushes this forward and it catches that blade. Okay. Now let's pull all this jazz off of here and actually just push this pivot back through. And then we can free up all the bearings. And there's your button lock thing and all this kind of strange stuff. And then... God only knows when I put it back together, uh, I may have a little bit of button stick. It, it's just, 
kind of the luck of the draw how you know how everything goes back together and then you may have a little stick for a while and then it may go away and then who knows but that's button locks. I mean, to me, I mean, make your comment. It's like, no, it should never have any kind of button stick and blah, blah, blah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. But it seems to me that that just comes and goes with button locks. And I've had a lot, I mean, a ton of button locks. Different makers. Back with the Crowley. Yeah. Yeah, I do have some lock stick. Uh, you know, and uh, I've I've played with, and you might try that too. Either put some graphite or something in where, I mean, where this plunger plunges through there. That might help. And so, if you've got any insight to that, because it'll come and go. Probably part of it is it'll wear over time and quit doing that, or. Uh, I've even played with rotating that whole thing around, see if it has a more comfortable zone, that kind of thing. But uh, they, it comes and goes for me, and I haven't really got much into it. Button locks. Button locks. Uh, I like them regardless. They're very fidget friendly, a lot of fun, and I do like the send cut line of knives. I think they're a great bargain. I'm going to leave you alone. Thank you very much for hanging out. We got to love them knives back in Florida. And here to be here a while, that's for sure. Take care. And you know what we do. We love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.